Hey, this is Red Band, coming to you live from the world famous comedy store for a brand new episode of Kill Tony Volume 4. Give it up for Tony Hensclair. Hey, everybody. Hello and welcome. Make some noise. You're at the number one live podcast in the world at the comedy store on a Monday night right now. We are in it. Hello, everybody. We are live via the internet and uh, in person. We're also an in person live show. Yes. I'm um, excited about tonight. Keep it going for Brian Redman, everybody. Hey. He is right here. The man on the ones, the twos. You know, a good friend of ours had, uh, has a new special coming out this week. This Thursday, Joey Diaz has a new special. Wow. CISO. Uh, yeah. Y- use code word Joey. You get two months for free. So check it out at CISO TV. Get two months for free with the code word Joey. Uh, powerful Jamie Vernon on the HD camera. The great Ryan J.E. Belt is here drawing tonight's episode with a blank sheet of paper. Here he is, everybody. Put your hands together for Ryan J.E. Belt. You're going to see at the end of the show that while you all sat there like a bunch of lazy asses, Ryan J. drew the episode. Um, should we just fly through it? Wait, we're doing a San Francisco, blah, 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 blah. We'll yeah. just, you know what? Let's do our plugs throughout the episode. Let's just disguise them tonight. Let's bring up tonight's guest. What do you say? Oh, the, the guest first. Okay. Let's do that because I want to sure. get the guest reaction to the band coming out because our guest tonight, this is the first time in Kill Tony history where I have purposefully and luckily been able to rematch a booking that we, I've done before because last time these two guys were here together, they, uh, they went hard. We had an absolute fucking blast. It's two of the funniest comedians in the world, two of my funniest pals from New York. Put your hands together for the great Mike Lawrence and Luis J. Gomez, everybody. Here we go. (laughs) Fuck yeah. Uh, 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 uh. That's exactly how you guys sat last time. I'm so pumped about this. Welcome back. One of the, my favorite uh, one of my favorite shows ever. You two guys were the guests. Make some noise again, Mike Lawrence and Louis J. Gomez, everybody. That's Live the stank hands in the crowd. I love it. Thank you very much for having me back, Tony. I'm very excited to be here. Uh, I'm excited to come back and judge your comedians. I'm hoping to make somebody cry tonight. That's my goal. I hope so. I like so. that there's some Latinos here to make you feel comfortable, some fat bearded guys to make me feel comfortable. This yeah. is awesome. We, yeah. I, I scatter them all in. I want the guests to be cozy. Um, and your comfort is important, and that's why it's also important that uh, at times we get to see you guys a little uncomfortable. Uh, we, you have a history, both of you, of, uh, you know, Letting the band uh, know how you feel about it. We have a band <laughs> that you guys know about. Uh, and let's just do it, shall we? With sure. a different entrance every week. These guys, two of the funniest, most creative people. I have three of them. And uh, <laughs> maybe four tonight, actually, I think, maybe. Uh, here we go. Here they are, the Kill Tony Band. Reagan Watkins and Joel Jimenez. <laughs> No dick jokes. <laughs> With a full house intro, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Reagan Watkins and Joel. Is that full house? I like that Joel is supposed to look like Uncle Jesse, but he just looks like <laughs> Lewis's murdered father. <laughs> <laughs> battle, battle. And here we are. I don't know. Is Bob is Pat supposed to be Bob Saget in this? Yeah, he's a clean freak. More hey. like Bob Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> uh, and who Community you, College. And who are you supposed to be, Jeremiah? Joey Gladstone. Thank you. This was very ill-conceived. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I you named two names that I still didn't get it until just now. Yeah. You look, you just look like one of un- Uncle Jesse's like adult twins. Remember yeah. the eighth season when they had the twins? <laughs> oh, all right, okay. The Fuck eighth you guys. season. You guys, oh, yeah. you guys all look like you molested Michelle at a different time in her life. <laughs> you got it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally stealing all of our lines right now. <laughs> we had like six planned. They're firing, just coming out all of the lines immediately. Uh, you look like you lot, just guys. gibbled Kimmy. <laughs> <laughs> You guys actually think this is funny? 
For some reason, you did. <laughs> oh, do you God. do you guys know that Fuller House is the highest rated show in Netflix history? Uh, yeah, take that. Orange is the new black, and House of Cards, and Black Mirror. It's fucking Fuller House. Ugh, God, I watched it. <laughs> Trump votes. That's who's watching. It's it. the only show you weren't in this year. No. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. <laughs> That's a compliment. That's the nicest. He does a lot. Uh, I, lo- I love Jeremiah. I love it. Well, I'm so happy you guys are here. Um, let's just jump right into it. You guys know how it works. Comedians all signed up. There, there's a bunch of names in the bucket. Sometimes it's not even a comedian. Sometimes it's just a fucking crazy person that signed up on a sheet and had no idea what the show was. And uh, comedians, if your name or anyone gets pulled out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds of stage time, and then you get interviewed by us about anything in the world. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. There you go. You guys ready to start the show or what? Make some fucking noise. Someone is about to get 60 seconds of completely uninterrupted stage time. And then we talk to them. <laughs> Put your hands together. For Opie. Yay, yay, what's up, y'all? How's it going? My name is Opie. I've been traveling around for stand up lately. It's cool, it's fun. Uh, my favorite thing about traveling for stand up is when I tell the locals I have a show in town and they go, oh, cool, man. What do you rap about? That's my favorite thing. <laughs> Because then I get to pretend that I'm a rapper, you know? But I'm not a gangster. Like, I grew up in a rough neighborhood, but I'm not a gangster. So what I do is I tell them plots from movies I used to watch as a little kid. It's like, oh, what do I rap about? I rap about the time my uncle killed my father, kicked me out of the hood, then me and my homies came back and took the block over again. It's like, oof, that sounds so rough. Now, that's Lion King, dog. (laughs) Kuna Matata, bitch. Uh, I live in L.A. now. It's cool. The only thing is I'm the only black guy in my entire neighborhood. I learned a lot about white people. I learned their favorite way to say the N-word. It's with their eyes. (laughs) (laughs) Boom. Opie nailing it. 60 seconds. Got it. Hey, Opie. What's up, bro? Nice to meet you, Opie. First time on the show, right? Yeah, it's Where my you first from? time. I'm from D.C. D.C. I'm originally I'll... from Nigeria, but D.C. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay, there you go. <laughs> Brian Redband, ready to go. Swag. Did you know he was from Nigeria or something? <laughs> <laughs> Very impressive. Uh, wow. Yeah. How long were you in Nigeria for? I, I moved here when I was five. Wow, five. Do you yeah. remember? Well, they, they took him here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have any memories of Nigeria? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like what? What do you remember? Um, I remember, like, uh, not a lot of white people. uh, (laughs) That's an understatement. (laughs) Um, How many clicks are in your actual name, and is that why you call yourself Opie? (laughs) How many clicks? That's a great question. (laughs) (laughs) You know, Opie. (laughs) (laughs) Why do you? Yeah, why do you call? Why? Why do so many black comics have code names? Why? Code why names? do most black comics sound like X Men members? Um, <laughs> you guys didn't see Colossus on Comic View. He's great. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Why? Why, why Opie? Opie? Well, my full name's Akwayemi Olabaju. Okay. Oh, yeah. Opie. <laughs> Keep it as Opie. Yeah. Oh, bro, you're gonna kill me with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that your name is the last spell you learn at Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> the OP. Wow. Oh, you, your names are. You're from the, one of the places that everyone knows is the only joke the globe has. Yeah, that we steal emails. Yeah, like, that's the whole thing. Right. Like I think though the funniest thing about us is that we sti- we also stole like the country above us, Niger. We stole their name too. Yeah. Like, I think that's like the thing people really. Do you, you know? talk about that in your act? You go through all the basic shit like. Uh, I just talk about because like I feel like most people like they think like Nigeria is this fucked up place, but I live in like a straight up mega city, you know. So I like to talk about like it was a fucked up city, but it's also not as bad as like a Detroit, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey guys, he'll be hosting the Daily Show in two years. <laughs> 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 what do you that do for work? No, no, he's too funny already. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! There you Shots go. Shots fired. Take I got a laugh, and he burned Noel. a bridge. I was <laughs> gonna say we are just burning bridges here tonight. <laughs> Fuck you, rest of show business. We're doing a live podcast in the attic of the comedy store right now. <laughs> How much do you travel for comedy? How, mu- how much? Like, like a decent amount. I do like, do like NACA gigs and stuff like that. How okay. long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, like three years. In D.C.? No, I started in Orange County. How long have you been in L.A.? I've been in L.A. since January. Gotcha. Yeah. And how do you make a living? I work f- uh, daytime. I do Hulu. I would do customer service for them. Yeah. Hulu, that's his cousin. Oh. Hook me up a second. <laughs> <laughs> they sell bags together. In Hulu Ambedijabada. <laughs> Hulu Balabidibidabu. <laughs> Hulu. <laughs> Hulu and Opie. Hulu, this is Hulu. <laughs> this is Hulu. We must bury your daughter, CISO. <laughs> 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 uh, that's just too funny. <laughs> oh, Pat, what does that mean? We really aren't enjoying yourself over there. I'm just bored with the show. What's going on? What's what would you like to see? What are we missing here? Nothing. Give Keep, us the carry spice. On. Give us the give us the spice that you think we're missing. Keep going. Okay. No, we will. Uh, can I? <laughs> no, I demand more quality comedy from a show where someone dresses like Danny Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> can I? Uh, can I be the first one to give Opie a compliment? Yeah. Um, Opie, I was I was impressed. I thought uh, the bits you did were good. They were solid. Both of them made me laugh. Uh, um, I thought you had a lot of really strong stage presence coming up. And in, 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 I think in the environment of being judged, it's a lot different than just doing comedy. Yeah. So you have you know four assholes up here trying to pick you apart, and we're praying to fucking God um, or whatever your people <laughs> pray to. Some sort of fucking. Sun he prays to God free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> but we all wanted you to bomb and you didn't. You did a great job. So I, I got to say, I was impressed. Oh, wait, why did you want him to bomb? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, what do you mean we all wanted you to bomb? <laughs> we all wanted you to bomb and die a slow we're death not, here. We collectively not... formed a racist group and we wanted you to bomb in front of the crowd. And no, yeah. it's not because he was black. I, we want, I want everyone to bomb on the yeah. show. It's more fun if they bomb for us to make fun of them bombing. He, he, does, he does look like the first person to go to college in a hood movie. Like, <laughs> you're the one that dies so everyone else can learn a lesson. Uh, <laughs> boys in the hood. <laughs> oh, yeah. He looks like he's teaching a white girl how to dance. <laughs> yeah. City of Opie God. was this close to getting his bachelor's degree. <laughs> Opie, man. Well, that's cool. What's your love life like? I just got into a relationship with a chick. You excited about that? Uh, yeah, I'm excited. She's dope. What She's does cool, she do? Cool. Uh, she's an actor. Mm. Yeah. She acts like she loves that dick. <laughs> <laughs> she better. He's Nigerian. There's no acting. <laughs> <laughs> is she a white chick, Opie? She is white. Ah, she's she's oh, she's shit. Shit. So she just oh. acts like it doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched like white chicks. Dated, so. She's actually at home right now rolling around on the floor holding her stomach still. <laughs> 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 How long have you guys been together? Uh, She's uh, holding her stomach from laughing so hard at this show. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, <laughs> what is happening tonight, Pat Reagan? Take that, Tony! He is such a rock star that, like, throwing the whole thing under the bus. I'm like, oh, this is one thing he hasn't done. He is pushing the limits. Have you met? <laughs> awesome. He picked the one full house character without a catchphrase, and he's just angry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, shit. All right. Opie, uh, where'd you meet this girl? Uh, Tinder. On Tinder? Yeah. Hmm. Is it the first girl you hooked up with off Tinder? Nah. Jeez, wow. <laughs> Good Lord. Nah. I can, can you give me some advice? I don't know how to hook up on Tinder. I don't uh, get it. I just go through their pictures, and then I find something, and I just make a joke off of it. Off the tender. Oh, yeah. like one, make him insecure, like nice stomach, fatso. <laughs> no, no, not like that. Yeah, good old massaging you. <laughs> yeah, you, you get in her head, and then she's like, oh, I'm not worth shit. And then she's like, all right, I'm going to suck this guy's cock tonight. Yeah. Lewis exactly. is like, I called her a dumb cunt. Why won't she respond to me? <laughs> <laughs> you get to see your parents a lot? No, nah, like her parents live no. in Kentucky. <laughs> no, no. You're, you so not at all. Oh, uh, <laughs> I know you're not. I, I asked a different question. I, I asked if you get to see your parents a lot. I know you don't get to see her parents <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Let them never see her parents. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> You're unbelievable, by the way, Brian. <laughs> my, <laughs> my mom lives in Chino, but my dad passed away. That's why I moved out to Orange County. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, what's some like Nigerian stuff that your mom does that is you know different, like a culture thing? Anything um, crazy? And can you do her voice? Because we will give you a sitcom. <laughs> yeah. Can you do I, an impression like, of her? I don't like doing like the Nigerian she voice. MMA I feel like it's just been done. That's fucking great. I feel like it's just been done, and I don't really that like doing You're it. damn right it has. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. So it's not really my, <laughs> my way. No, but we'll do it, though. <laughs> you, can, you can do it. Opie, get to your room. <laughs> <laughs> In my village. <laughs> <laughs> Is there, but there are, are there any like cultural differences, like anything that really stands out to you? Like for example, I had a we had a guy on the show a few weeks ago who said that his dad uh, wipes his ass with regular towels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then the like, other thing we're is like white what like actual like towel towels and they doesn't like flush no flushing towels like no he just wipes his ass and puts it on a special rack where his shitty towel goes. <laughs> but I have what a, he said. I don't do it. Shut up. <laughs> I have a genuine concern about your name. There already is, like, a famous Opie in comedy. Yeah. <laughs> but, I don't know. Like, he ain't a, a real nigga, so I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I don't no, know, he I, just I, says no. it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, like, I'm not too worried about that. I was like, when, when the bridge comes, we'll, we'll maybe you come. Could well, hook, maybe, comes. Maybe you could hook up with another uh, black comic and do a radio show and call it Opie and Anferny. <laughs> <laughs> Opie and Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> um, why don't, what, what's your last name? It's Alabaju. Just slowly. Alabaju. <laughs> Brian, you're out of control. <laughs> what oh. the fuck? <laughs> was, was it that one? Is it Jungle Bird? Oh, my God. That is so wrong. Wait, why do they call that? A, look, I guess it is. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Uh, oh. Opie just, Alabaju. Alabaju. That's fucked up. I don't know, man. I just why I just. I'm not bad. You, it's like, not bad. Well, t- you gotta be. You gotta fucking be great to be a one name comedian. <laughs> I know. It's, you gotta start thirty years ago. I think your name's cool as fuck. Say it all, all at once, one more time. It's Akwayami Alabaju. The whole audience just turned. <laughs> okay. The whole audience just turned into frogs. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, Pat. I like that being part of this show. <laughs> All right, Opie, it was fun meeting you, man. Cool stuff. Thanks, man. Welcome. Best of luck, buddy. There he is, everybody. Opie. He's on Twitter at Swanky Opie. O-P-E-Y. Swanky Opie. All one word. How about that? You just met Opie. He's handsome, too. Yeah. Good looking guy. Yeah, I'm down with (laughs) Opie. P. 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 (laughs) Fuck yeah. Yeah. All right, this looks like another new name. Put your hands together for Coleman Cox. How does Red Band do it? Oh, boy. Look who just got blacklisted from show business. Let's get Opie up here for another set, everybody. <laughs> uh, pulled another name out of the bucket. How about <laughs> William Gilliam? A little about me. I was a I was a Marine for four years, fought in Afghanistan. Um, now I'm going through a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me miss the days I was getting paid to kill. <laughs> I had an issue uh, when I got back from the war. I couldn't sleep, so I had to go to the VA. They put me on a uh, test run of a drug called Ambien, it's supposed to help me sleep, not have nightmares. Uh, so I went home and I took it. Slept like an angel until about, probably about 2.30 in the morning, my roommate had to run in and rip me off my wife because I had a nightmare. And I was beating her in my sleep. So the next day I have to go back to the VA and let them know like how everything went. They look at me, they said, well, did the drugs work? I said, fucking great. <laughs> I got home and the house was clean, the yard was mowed, it was like. <laughs> So side effects I don't tell you about, really. I mean, I had to quit taking them, obviously, for, like, medical reasons. William Gilliam, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Awesome. Thanks, man. 
I love it if your ex-wife left you for a Nigerian on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, what was didn't Pat say any, he would fist fight any Marine any time he got face to face with him? I'm pretty sure he's not only did he say that, but he said this would be the funniest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember saying that. <laughs> There's some of those UCB yeah, chops said, right there. <laughs> Hey, Pat, do you, do you wish that you'd be knocked off a horse like Michelle and just forget this episode even happened? <laughs> that was the series finale. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Oh, some of those Second City courses paying off. <laughs> uh, all right, William Gilliam. Uh, is that your real name? That is my real name. Holy shit. I'm a, yeah, I'm a junior. My dad's a dick. <laughs> wow. And so was his dad. Yeah. <laughs> William Gilliam. Mm-hmm. Um, that's William Gilliam! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a wizard here all of a sudden. Um, yeah. So that's fucking awesome, that's man. That's funny. How much of that is uh, true? It seems like you really have issues with your wife. Oh, but we're done. Yeah, I'm going, right. really am it, going through the divorce. Was it because you beat the shit out of her in your sleep? No, uh, I was mostly awake. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, she... Uh, <laughs> Hey, this Still guy's works. got some good Worked wife twice. beating jokes. Huh? <laughs> yeah. No, uh, no, yeah, we just uh, we just argued all the. F- we got married after we knew each other for three months. Ooh, got Yikes. drunk in Vegas. Oh fuck, uh, God, no. We came home married. Oh Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, man. So it was three years of couples therapy before I was like, this is retarded. Yeah, yeah. She wow. realized you weren't the professional baseball player you look like. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. So like, uh, and how long were you married for? Three years. Three years. Yeah, three years. How many times did you beat her in your sleep? <laughs> actually, actually, what's funny is she asked me to rewrite that joke. It it really happened after the war with an ex girlfriend, but she's so fucking jealous. She don't want me talking about exes on stage. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 I just, yeah. Wow. I just uh, imagine like a Marine in an argument where like, well, fuck you, bitch. I'm going to go back to Afghanistan where they respect me. <laughs> and I could say what I want to women. <laughs> uh, 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 Muammar Gaddafi was a puppet yeah. dictator. <laughs> <laughs> so... Holy shit. Hashtag she was like, UCB. I mean, that seemed like, by the way, that seemed like something that... Hashtag you know, superorganism. Fuck yeah. All right. So... <laughs> that seemed like something. You talking about how she didn't want you talking about exes on stage. I mean, you just responded like that was a normal crazy thing. Like, I mean, I can't even imagine. Is there anything else off the top of your head that, like, crazy as shit, this uh, crazy girl that you married in Vegas, other, <laughs> other things... Any other highlights that you would want to share? Is the oh yeah, oh yeah. We were we were at a we were we bought a house and she told me she was a medium. Oh <laughs> shit! And she like, was really an ex large. Yeah, five 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 months after we got married, she's like, we bought a house and we move in, and she's like, I'm a medium. I bought my grandparents' place, and like, she's like, oh, well, I feel your grandparents' presence. <laughs> so I stopped fucking her yeah, in that house. <laughs> your grandpa, no your way. grandpa's I, always jerking off in the yeah. corner of the room. It's like, yeah, yeah, of course you feel her grandparents' presence. Her grandparents gave you that house. It was a present. Well, that's the kind of that's the kind of humor you want. I don't want that humor. I don't like it. I don't think what it's I, funny. I just I fucking said it because that's the game of the show. The show's a game. <laughs> Play along if you want. What I love is. <laughs> What, you think I'm talking bullshit up here? I mean, in that, every show is a game of of comedy, right? (laughs) I am out of the conversation. (laughs) William, what I love is that you've bombed Afghani schools, and this girl's the thing you regret the most in life. (laughs) (laughs) How many people have you killed? I don't know. (laughs) So lots of Afghani schools. It's one of those things. I I used to have a bit about it, but it doesn't, like, hit hard. Of course. Because it's just like... (laughs) It's not, it's not like Speaking you. Speaking of my wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, well, you go into a firefight, you get shot at, and then like, you just destroy whatever <laughs> compound they're shooting at you from. Right. When you go inside, everyone's dead. Like, how, you don't know who got who. How did the bit go? Knock, knock. Nobody answers. <laughs> <laughs> you want to throw a guess out there at number? I mean, if you had to, no big deal either way if you don't want to. Give us I, a know, range. I know. 30s, 40s, 50s. I know 60s. the estimate for our unit was, uh, I think, 350. <laughs> <laughs> the 
<laughs> oh, God. He wasn't having flashbacks till the song played. This is going to be a lawsuit. <laughs> oh, my God. And how long ago was it that you were in the military? I got on 13. I was in from 09 to 13. Okay, well. I was in Afghanistan in 2011. Yeah, well, that wasn't even back. back I mean, you literally look like you could murder us all with that microphone stand, (laughs) and we wouldn't see it. You are fucking terrifying. Pat (laughs) Pat is not afraid at all. He's mouthing the word uh, homo. But what, you, uh, wow! What a what a what an arsenal of gay jokes you have. All right, uh, you, dude, you came up. Let me tell you something about your sta- your presence. Your presence when you came up, it's like you can't fuck with that presence. Uh, you re- uh, yeah. any aud- you just you just came up and serve yourself. You're a big dude, chest out, and your first yeah. lines were, "I served the Marine Corps for four years." <laughs> yeah. He literally looks like who they make hungry man dinners for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been on stand up? Did we ask you that already? I s- no, I started in 2013. Uh-huh. My last month in the military, I got a, I got a show down in Orange County. Right. And then I was hooked. I just got out. I so stayed around all, LA and did You're it. all totally done with the military now. Well, I'm still, in, I'm still in like what's called the inactive reserves. So I've still got contract left, but I don't do anything. It's like if there's like a nuclear holocaust, they can call me back. What do you think about Trump being your new president of the United States of America? I'm reassured by Mattis because Mattis has talked some sense into him. Oh, because because he yeah yeah General Mattis who he's looking at for Secretary of Defense sat down and like completely changed his views towards torture. Yeah, and uh, I think I think Mattis. Is I like that you think Trump can have his views changed. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mattis told him he's like Mattis told him he's like he's like torture's never worked out for me. I'd rather have a six pack and a pack of cigarettes and I'll, I'll get the intel I fucking need. Fuck yeah. yeah. I like That's that. True. I like that mentality. No, I like torture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say waterboard, bring their fucking kids in, fucking put a gun to their kid's head right in front of them. You the, fucking tell me we're going to kill your family, motherfucker. One of the funniest, I was in an interrogation while we were over there and one of the funniest sentences I ever heard was uh, the guy interrogating the guy. I was, I was there as like security. So I'm like, I'm standing next to the guy with a gun and this guy's sitting, this intel guy is talking to him, and he's just like, tell this piece, he's talking to the interpreter, he's like, tell this piece of shit that he's a fucking pussy, he has no balls, he <laughs> would show more honor by helping us help his country than him just rolling around like the faggot that he is. Was that Luis J. Gomez? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mean Luis Gay Gomez? Oh, Am I right, everybody? Switching the polars. <laughs> Yeah, you faggot. (laughs) You don't mess with my boy, Patty Reagan. (laughs) He used puns just so you'd know you're in L.A. (laughs) Oh, oh shit. Now they're attacking Los Angeles, everybody. (laughs) But then the the interpreter looked at us, and he's like, we we don't have words like that in our our language. (laughs) And he was like... Well, fucking come up with something. Make sure it's just as demeaning. (laughs) So do you know what he ended up calling him? Was that? Do you know what the word was? That I have no did, idea. Did anybody yeah, go like? No. So what was the? The only, the only, the only uh, Pashtun, which is the dialect of uh, whatever language it was, uh, the only Pashtun that I know is like uh, Suna Portica, which means hands up. Right. Like that's pretty much all I use. And then, then after you, then after <laughs> you <laughs> say that, you shoot them as fast as you can, right? Right. I'm already looking forward to the end of this when he just walks through the wall <laughs> and we see an imprint of him. Yeah. <laughs> Me must go home now. <laughs> Can, can, can I just say how annoying it's been that the first two comics have been, like, attractive, funny, with interesting backstories? Yeah, it is really this awesome. This is so fucking hard. It is really awesome. But can so we I'll, get someone on the spectrum, please? Let's can we do it. Please? I'll tell you this. William, in closing, I mean, I think Pat nailed it. You came up guns ablaze and fucking awesome stage presence. That was awesome, you know, I mean, really, really, really great performance. You're oh. fucking great, man. So come back again. Fun Thank you. Times. Thank you much. Yeah. William Gilliam. There he goes. Fun stuff. Guy, We're really... He's seen a lot of shit. And We're, nobody's doing jokes anymore about beating your girlfriends. <laughs> and I love that he was he was killing with them, though. Yeah. Women were just like... Oh, 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 oh. So, this is such a weird... All, like, those, all those women that went and voted for Trump in this past election. Who, <laughs> who knew that fucking William Gilliam and Opie would be funny <laughs> people? What a... What weird fucking bizarro land is this 
where the shitty names are the good comics. You are spot on, my friend. Can we just get a Jeff Smith who has 10 minutes on fisting midgets, wow. please? This is fucking crazy. This guy made his debut on this show last week for the first time, and we all absolutely... Another f- person we can't make fun of because he's too new. All right. But he's actually not. He's experienced and killed it last week, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Put your hands together. Make a lot of noise. For Chevy Turrell, ladies and gentlemen. Chevy Turrell. What's up, y'all? I'm going to tell you, I'm a diabetic. And I got to be careful because women always want me to go down on their vagina. And I got to make sure that vagina is sugar free. I went down on this one girl. She must have been drinking Coca-Cola all night. Because my sugar went up to 850 and I passed out went to a diabetic coma. She was dumb. She didn't even call the ambulance. She called my mama. My mama get there like, what's all that grease on your face? What y'all been eating? Church's chicken all damn night? Because of diabetes, I got that erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction ain't but nothing but your dick playing possum. <laughs> Chevy Terrell. Oh, man. Do you really have diabetes? So you have cerebral palsy and diabetes. And high blood pressure. <laughs> this is what happened last week. All of his responses are glorious. It doesn't even have to be particularly well written. What we learned last week is this guy has the delivery of fucking... Tracy know. Morgan after the accident. Oh! <laughs> this is why he's your roast battle champion. <laughs> Defending, reigning roast battle champion Mike Lawrence. Uh, he's funny, dude. You're really funny. You gotta, yeah. you gotta get, you gotta get something going on quick because you're gonna die probably in a couple years. So. <laughs> I already died twice. Really? Yeah. How'd that happen? I was born. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, there's one. Brian was there to make sure you felt the Don't do the shoehorn. He's uh, doing great, Red Band. Yeah, it's a weird one to put that in. Yeah, fuck you, cerebral palsy guy. <laughs> wah, wah. All right, there you go. <laughs> That's Red the official band, I swear. Glad you got those out of the system, so I don't have to hear them again. Uh, Chevy. I like that you're dressed like what's left at a Goodwill store. <laughs> he, uh, he did really well, uh, good at the Death Squad show Friday. We invited him uh, last Friday at the Ice House. So That's he, fun. He, he killed it. You have all those medical conditions. Yeah, he puts the death in Death Squad. <laughs> do, you have, uh, do you have like a lot of brothers and sisters? Do they get anything, too? No, they ain't got shit. I was a fucked up one. You're the only fucked up one. Yeah. Yeah, but do they have a cool, are they doing some cool like comedy or they have bullshit jobs probably, right? No, my brother's doing life and my other brother dead. So exactly, you're winning. <laughs> What's your first brother doing? He's got a life he's sentence. He's doing life. He's doing life. What did he do? Uh, shot a cop. Okie dokie. Uh, there you go. That's a, that's a good time for that right there. That's Black the moment. Wait, matter. Wait, you mean it happens the other way too? <laughs> It is a weird day. Topsy turvy. <laughs> you can shoot the cops? <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, you know man. why he shot the cop or what was going on at the time? You ever it, hear the story? Were you guys close? Yeah, we was close. I just had talked to him. Yeah. Wow. You know, he wrote the song, I Fought the Law and I Won. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, Chevy, if I'm not mistaken, you just got here to Los Angeles uh, like two weeks ago? Like a month ago. A month ago, yeah. right. Uh, so how's the transition going? It's cool. Where are you staying at? South Central. Can can we <laughs> can we talk about him going into a coma from eating pussy? Yeah. Did that really happen? Is that possible? No, right? Yeah. Something like that. You f- I think I think you I think you fell asleep, Chevy. Let's face Some it. Of, some of the lotions that they use, you know, like the kinky oils and stuff, does have a sugar content in it. So you have something there. Yeah. That's how Brian gained all that weight. Right. Just from eating so yeah. much sugar covered pussy that yeah. <laughs> candy apple pussy. 
<laughs> that was actually her name, too. At yeah. one Dude, I, I thought that was all. Man, you are proof that uh, stereotypes can be both relatable and funny. Uh, <laughs> no, it's fucking awesome. Yeah. I, yeah. It is the most stereotypical fucking one brother's dead, the other's in prison, he lives in South Central, okay? <laughs> yeah. I would uh, like to invite you back to the ne- the, the next Death Squad uh, okay. show in Whoa. next week. Next double week, call then. double call in wow. for Chevy yeah. Terrell. There you go. You know what? Let's just move on. We talked with Chevy last week. Anything else? Let's fly through another one. There he goes. Two weeks in a row. Chevy okay. Terrell. Get lucky out of the bucket. He's on Twitter at Chevy Terrell. T E R R I L L. All one Nobody, word. Nobody's ever. Nobody's ever said the word Chevy is lucky before. <laughs> <laughs> Three fucking funny people in a row. This is bullshit. Well, <laughs> I don't know if this person's ever been on before. Here to maybe throw a wrench in what's happening in this show. Put your hands together for Joey Wrench. So, uh, I recently found out it's not okay to give another man a shower loofah as a gift. (laughs) For my little brother's birthday this year, I gave him a shower loofah. And he's a Marine, by the way, so he's not really into exfoliating his skin. My little brother, he's a Marine. He, like, fights for our freedom. Whereas me being the oldest son, most women refer to me as adorable. I don't think that's what my father wanted in his oldest son. (laughs) My little brother, he's 18. He fights in wars. You know what it's like to be constantly reminded your parents had to make a better version of you? That should have dismounted on the awkward silence. Fuck, all right, guys, I'm Joey. There he goes, Joey Wrench, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Joey. Yeah, have you been on you. before? I have. You were? One time, yeah. How'd the last time go? Uh, Better than that, probably, right? Hopefully. Safe to say. <laughs> safe yeah. to assume. For those of you listening to the podcast, if you're wondering what the big laugh in the middle of Joey's set was, that's when Mike did an act out uh, that you couldn't see of him being thankful for us finally having someone bombing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Because you definitely did it. I think you know I, that, right, I, Joey? Oh, I, Even oh. you could probably admit. Oh, the I horse nailed, of truth I is out. That, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am hashtag blessed. Fucking thank <laughs> God. <laughs> Dude, even the the because every other name was like the, the fucking Joey Wrench. Like you sound like a what, like a fucking Batman henchman. Like fucking <laughs> this well, is Joey Wrench. Like and then you fucking come out. You look like a create a comic. Uh, <laughs> like the default setting in a stand up video game. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we know why they don't. We know why they don't call him Joey Hammer. <laughs> uh, Joey, why? <laughs> Good question, Jeremiah. Why, Lewis? <laughs> Thanks, boys. Appreciate it. I mean, it, you know, one of the things. Was, Thanks coming. For, this is from uh, Danny F- uh, Bob Faggot. Thanks you. <laughs> Thanks. I thought that was pretty good, Bob right. Faggot. <laughs> yeah, I stand by that. I'm sure you do, <laughs> Joey. But, yeah, oh, sorry. but th- this was the thing was that. Pan. We already had a Marine go up, and the fact that you didn't even address that we don't like, like there wasn't a callback or anything that you just did your set as nothing else happened. I thought was just a little sad to me. <laughs> you also came up with like your uh, your hand in your armpit, very kind of nervous energy. Yeah. You weren't like trying to connect with anybody in the crowd. Right. You felt, I felt like you were saying "fuck you" to everybody in the room with that attitude. Yeah. Joey, how long have you been doing stand up? <laughs> uh, on and off for a couple of years. On uh, and off. Huh? Yeah, mostly yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> mostly off. Yeah. As you all saw, I can't even fucking defend that shit. Like, <laughs> why is it off so much? Do you really like it? Or uh, it in, just... in the beginning, it was off. So it's like I started like in 2010, but it was like really sporadic. And then like in the last like year and a half was when I started doing it more consistently. So like, what were you going for in that brother? Uh, what was it again? Uh, my, did, what was that? Well, I, I gave a, him a shower loofah. I right. had a thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a couple things going on there. It's like, you know, first of all, like Lewis said, I mean, your original, you know, your coming up thing, I mean, it was just very, 
you know, you're not really backing it. And, the, and loofahs aren't really an exfoliating thing. Well, you know, it's more of like a scrubbing thing, but in which makes sense if you count that as exfoliating. Tony, but yeah, Tony, also Tony, I like loofah. Tony. In fairness, in fairness, uh, his brother might need a loofah to exfoliate his dry skin from the arid climate of Afghanistan and Iraq. <laughs> oh, that didn't come across. Oh, I thought it was so obvious. Joey, let's talk about you. Okay. What do you do for work? Uh, recently, I've been working for my dad's inventory company. Really? So I've just been counting shit Your in dad, grocery stores. Joey Greco <laughs> Sr.? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From Cheaters? Nothing? Okay. Uh, <laughs> so is your real name Joey Wrench? Yeah, it's German. Like, it's not spelled like the tool. Did someone say German? <laughs> you, <don't... laughs> you look a little bit darker than German. What Joey are you mixed Wrench. with? Uh, yes. Mixed with Filipino. Wow. Oh, yeah. we do not like Filipino. Yeah, I, I don't. Like, I like I don't... Joey Goebbels. Joey. Yes. <laughs> like Goebbels? <laughs> yeah, like Goebbels. No, it's a... I like the animal. Uh, let's go on with the show. <laughs> you do what again? Uh, I, I've been working for my dad. He does. He he uh, runs an inventory company. So, so what I are you just, counting inventory of? Like I do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is getting very suspicious. <laughs> Commander Wrench. <laughs> we put them in the showers and we clean them with the loofahs. <laughs> <laughs> That's some good racist improv right there. <laughs> Siegfried, I mean Joey. Oh. Joey. Yes. Um, so how German is your dad? Scary German? Uh, no, like pasty German. I don't know. He's, he's mixed with Irish, so he's like red hair, pasty dude. So he mostly looks What's Irish. What's your mom like? Um, totally hot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she's, uh, she's, uh, she's She was born in Manila, so just, she's... What does she do for work? She's an envelope. <laughs> she... <laughs> <laughs> His dad came into an envelope, and that's when. <laughs> and then it's I a wrench out. in an envelope. <laughs> <laughs> it is the I... shittiest version of Clue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my mom, she works. Uh, she does inspection for like a, a delivery company, like a trucking company. She makes sure everything's. Delivery. She's Filipino. <laughs> yeah, delivery. <laughs> delivery. Uh, wow, interesting, Joey. So, like, what's like something exciting about you? Something exciting about me? Any, uh, anything in the world? I mean, you. Uh, I just got broken up with, and she broke up with me by email. Which wow. is yeah. Why do I not a like... hotmail? Right. What? It'd be where it'd be off if she had a hotmail account. <laughs> Like also, that's something a exciting SBC about Global, her. An SBC yeah. Yeah, Global know, that's, Net account. No. Can you imagine? That's about yeah. The most exciting up thing. With. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? Can you imagine that? if Jay Reagan at <laughs> Yahoo.com broke up with you? That's my dad's email. Don't email him. <laughs> uh, oh, you did not. You just fucked up. All right, Patrick. email him. Email him. Every email. troll. Send him. Send like, him some emails. <laughs> um. Joey, you yeah. just fucking uh, see. You just got broken up with by email. Why do I feel like the relationship was by email, though? <laughs> uh, Where'd you meet this girl? I met her in an improv class. Oh, oh Jesus! Yeah, That's why you're so unfunny. Now it oh, makes geez. sense. You took a class. I know. <laughs> and then it went. She was just like, "No, and." <laughs> 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 So you guys were uh, taking improv. How did it start? I know she initiated it. Right? Oh, for Visible sure. Box. Well, yeah. How did just she, he? He just got a suggestion and then zip zaps up. <laughs> how did she initiate? He had it? to spend four hundred dollars to meet her, so she's technically a prostitute. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we. Uh, you got a prostitute to take an improv class. <laughs> Uh, I paid for everything. She's, halfway through, she's like, this is the dumbest, dirtiest shit I've ever done in my life. I've never felt so dirty in my life. <laughs> then taking the Second City improv class. That's it would be great if she <laughs> broke up with him during an improv scene. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't do this anymore. <laughs> We're waffle farts. You know? <laughs> but that, that's really the most interesting thing about you is that a girl broke up with you by email. I feel like that's your problem. You're not going for anything interesting. Right. Oh. You're really going for like a very... Like you're, the problem is if you're aiming for an uninteresting thing, okay. even in its best uh, ca capacity, it's going to stink still. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's something more interesting about you than that shit. 
What, what is, is it? What is it, Joey? I mean, you're doing a better Danny Tanner impression than Pat Reagan is. <laughs> that is true. That's like my dad inoffensive. My two favorite things. <laughs> Growing up, my dad used to get mistaken for Bob Saget all the time. Oh, that's a wacky thing, Joey. Did anybody call him Bob Saget? It- <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, did they? <laughs> no, they don't have homophobic Puerto Ricans in Germany. <laughs> what else is there about you, Joey? Um... Something dark. Come on, Joey. There's something in there. Something dark? Joey, look inside uh, yourself. Who <laughs> <laughs> get inside yourself, Joey. Ooh, it's the... Ar- Twist the wrench, Joey. <laughs> Go ar- ar- to the depths of your soul. Good friend. Look at you angry, Joey. Friend of Kill Tony, Lucifer. <laughs> uh, so, what is it, Joey? Let's get into it. Come Let's- on, man. We're going to fucking discover some shit tonight. We're going gonna... to exfoliate and go deep let's, into let's those expo- pores and yeah, see what you're hiding so underneath about there. A fucking loofah, dude. Yeah, man. There's something dark. We're about there. to Come save on. your life. It seems like uh, torture right now. He's Steve. like a priest no, molested like... me via email. <laughs> 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 all, right, all right, Joey. All right, Joey. What's the most embarrassed you've ever felt in your life? Yeah. Poop your pants. Besides this show. I know, right? I was like, right now, it's pretty bad. I mean, uh, let me give you an example. Okay. You're clearly a premature ejaculator. <laughs> How does he know that about us? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't say yes or no to that. Either way, you're going to label me as a premature ejaculator. Um, so you might as well just uh, tell the answer. truth. What an well, there's only yeah. shitty literal answer. Don't there's only do one way Don't to do, do it. Prove it with my butthole right now. That's true. Well, shit. <laughs> this is a part of the show where Jeremiah bends over and we find out who's a premature child. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fuck yeah. Oh. <laughs> he came. He came. Oh, there it was. <laughs> Yo, my boy Joey committed to that act out right there. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, Joey, you went for it. Yeah. Uh, what else, Joey? Anything else? Like, for example, I gave you the premature ejaculator thing that worked better than yeah. your no answer. So than my no answer, yeah. Right. So um, can you, do you I mean, have anything? If, if we're gonna if we're gonna go with dark, I mean, I struggled with depression for like the last year and a half. Yeah. All right. That's, what's, the, what's the lowest moment during that? What did you do? The lowest moment? Did you uh, cut yourself? Did I what? Did you cut yourself? Damn I didn't cut myself. Uh, Take a bunch of pills and fucking drink a bunch of uh, alcohol. I, 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 I drink myself to sleep like every night for like a year wait, and a with half. Wait, with, with, <laughs> yeah. with alcohol? Well, I know. That's no. why it's like, it doesn't sound with, special. Wait a second. With alcohol? No, with yeah. sleepy time tea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And yeah. it's unbelievable. <laughs> My non-caffeinated he would take chamomile. Four vitamins and then drink some tea. <laughs> <laughs> he just plays back open mic sets of his own. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Joey Ray. Come on, man. We all, M- Mike. Something dark about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. What are you talking about? Oh, fucking. That's all I do. Uh, yeah. You don't have to do that. We we get it. I mean, we no, all have no, it. no, no, no. When I was, I'll, I'll, no, I'll fucking do it. When I was seventeen, I tried. Get me that fucking Hulk music. Uh, you damn, damn right. Damn. I tried hanging myself in the drama school with the fucking uh, rope, the theater rope, and I was hoping that the drama teacher would find me. And as I was dying, I would go end scene. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. All right, Joey, your wow. turn. Yeah, yours is w- more entertaining than mine. Uh, I tried to hang in myself last way. year. How'd you do uh, that? Uh, a belt in the closet. A belt in the closet. What happened? Uh, I didn't tighten the belt enough, and it gave, and I fell on my ass. Oh, no. You're like, I, I can't I can... even do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, there's a, you want to cut yourself with chicken wire and, like, string chicken wire across something and then go on some sort of, like, drive, like, a go-kart or something straight at the chicken wire and it'll d- behead you. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> that would not behead you at all. His spine is very strong. <laughs> it's chicken wire. Chicken wire. With a oh, go-kart? Yeah, totally. <laughs> totally. You know, like, 20 miles an hour? <laughs> Maybe 30. 
right. I mean, like, we, we went down this depression thing, but, like, anything, like, goofy ever happened to you? You ever, you know, poop your pants uh, when or I was do in, drugs when, or anything? When I was, oh, just I remember, got... if you do kill yourself, this is the most popular thing you've ever done. Yeah, I know, right? Thank you, This Mike. is the only recorded document of your <laughs> existence. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> also, so fucking live. Now, if you hang yourself Whoa. with the belt and you actually nail it, yeah. we'll go back and listen to this episode. Like, dude, that guy actually did it. It's yeah. kind of an accomplishment. It, you know what? And if you, only dude. he could commit when he's on stage like he did <laughs> in real life. Are, are we telling pooper pants stories right now? Because <laughs> I, 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 I got a good one. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, okay. I, so I was doing this, uh, <laughs> this one-nighter in Arizona with Dean Del Rey and uh, I got a notification that I had an audition back in LA in the morning at like 11 a.m. So Dean and I woke up at like 4 in the morning to drive back. (laughs) What if he kills himself during your story? Yeah, it might happen. (laughs) This is going to finally push him. And uh, I I farted uh, like while I was driving in the car (laughs) while Dean was sleeping. Yeah. And I realized that I had pooped my pants. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But but I had to get to that audition. (laughs) So so I kept driving with (laughs) poop pants (laughs) for like five hours and Dean still doesn't know about this. Uh, <laughs> he still doesn't know Dean about it. Still doesn't You're know releasing about it exclusively on Kill Tony yeah. right now. Yeah. So he sat next to your shitty butthole for five hours. <laughs> I, I asked Dean how he what? slept and he's like, I slept horrible. I slept horrible. I, I, I slept like a baby I, and by that I mean I smelled poop a little bit the whole time. <laughs> I need to wash my mustache. Oh, oh. oh man, I'm sweating. The way sweating. the story will go down, though, is that I once said something that made Jeremiah poop his pants on a trip. <laughs> All right. Joey. Um, Did you have a stain? Did it soak through? Like, I mean, were you worried about that? Did you? No, it went, it went like, to, through the boxers, but it, I don't think it got through the, the back part of the jeans. You didn't do it like a, like a moisture test? I mean, no, it was... That's it was, enough. All right, <laughs> Joey. Uh, hey, Tony, so Tony, you know, that reminds me. I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> Wait, what? That back reminds me. Back off the me. track after, okay. Go I was ahead. at church camp. Oh, boy. <laughs> we were building houses in Mexico, and, we, and I, we took, I took a little detour, a late-night detour to, to shower. It was a communal shower. We were sleeping in communal beds. Separate from the shower, obviously. And so I, I schlepped over to the shower, and I was sh- shoving stuff up my butt. And then, don't worry about that. And then I, like, shit. And then I had to, Anyways, I shit in the communal shower, and I had to spend, like, an hour and a half, like, like firing hot water at the shower to melt it into the drain. And then I went to, like, wash the stink off, and I couldn't get the stink off no matter what I did. I, would j- I was, like, scrubbing my hands, like, raw. And then I woke up and then <laughs> I went to bed and woke up in the morning and just waited for anyone to be like, hey, does anybody smell that? And no one did. <laughs> My boy Benny Reagan right there. <laughs> this could be a podcast called Talking Shit with Joey Wrench where yeah. he's so boring that all the guests <laughs> talk about the time they shat themselves. Uh. This is what happens, Joey. Miracles do happen. I think we just found your uh, comedy voice. (laughs) You've been the best part of this show through no fault of your own. (laughs) All at my expense. (laughs) Lovely. How long have you been doing comedy? He said, uh, he said like, like super years. off and on, like a horrible, you know, oh, answer. Right. He doesn't really love it that much, but it is an escape momentarily from your issues, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty much it. I hate when people use comedy as yeah. an escape. Like, un- it is. Are, are you, and, and I get the feeling, question. and I get the feeling you actually have a therapist, right? I do not. I you can't don't. afford one. You can't afford one. No. Oh. I know. Um, <laughs> well, so were you? Were you like the funny I kid did. in your group of friends growing up? Uh, no, I was quiet as a okay. kid. You All just right. talk to your collection of like. Bland sweaters. <laughs> Whoa! Feel the burn on that one. Whoa! The old talk to your you sweaters. Can punch right in the fucking face. You <laughs> won't do shit. I've never thrown a punch in my life. So. Oh, you're such a oh, faggot. Oh, I know. Or Joey. delivered one. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> wow. Joey, what happened? To you? Why do you think you're so boring? What happened? Your parents were always together, and like, uh, and you, guess, First of you all, probably, you probably what? come from a little bit of money, right? First of all, uh, what kind of a question is, why do you think you're so boring? That's a good question. That's interesting. Why? I like that we boring? keep calling boring and uninteresting. There's a lot of people, people, there's lot of people that are for boring 27 and minutes. There's a lot of people that are boring un- and uninteresting, and I think they're just nice people. 
Yeah, yeah but they that shouldn't makes do sense. comedy. Movie. Right, they shouldn't. Yeah, it's an interesting thing. He just know? had a bad set, man. It was one minute. He might yeah. be really great. Whoa, look, look at this. Look at the polar of hope is over here. I mean, look at his eyebrows. They're on fleek. I'm sure his set's probably on fleek. Wow. And with that, we're going to let you go. Joey Wrench, everybody. There he goes. We're going to move on. Joey Wrench. Red Band, I like that. The Pillar of Hope, Brian Red Band. Come on, guys, he's just having a rough night. Hold on, can I, can he's I, going uh, off to be the next Verizon guy. If, hold <laughs> on, but it, I, I almost feel like if you weren't the funny kid in your group of friends growing up, oh, man. you shouldn't do con- I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, I mean, absolutely. That's the one rule, you got to be funny, no? Totally. Comedy absolutely. attracts the least funny human beings on earth. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, but they shouldn't do it. They should all get the fuck out of the Pum- way. No, comedy used to be, I'm funny and I want to say something, and now comedy is, I wish I could play music, but I can't. Yeah. So I'll do I don't have a talent, that. so I'm doing it. Or you can it. do both like Pat Reagan. Comedy is, self ex- comedy is self-expression, but the problem with self-expression is that it ultimately feeds the uh, modern capitalist <laughs> consumer society that we're living in. There you go. I pulled another name out of the Self-expression's bu- bullshit. That pulled- was a real Bob Faggot answer. <laughs> I pulled there another name out of the bucket, and the there name that I pulled out of the bucket is Eric Lampert, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Eric Lampert. Hi guys. Um, yeah, I know. I know. As I sound like this, so this is gold for these guys. Um, I do sound British, so. Um, uh, but I am American. I married one of you. Um, no, not one of you, you idiot. Um, I married uh, a lady from Pittsburgh. Um, a lady from Pittsburgh is a bit of a juxtaposition. Because um, I've I've been to Pittsburgh and there, there's no ladies. Um, uh, like when I go there, there's a lady. Uh, but the, apart from that, like I'm the only one. I've met her dad. Her dad is fucking massive. Like he eats steel and shits bridges. That is how big he is. He is the gym, right? And I, like, he's so big. His dick probably has its own dick. His eyes have muscles. Like it's fucking crazy. And I come along and I'm like, hello, I fuck your daughter. <laughs> like. He's so fucking pissed. I met her. Co- her whole family's fucked up. Like, I met her cousin, and he has an alligator living in his basement. Right? <laughs> Genuinely, he has an alligator living in his basement in Pittsburgh, not Florida, Pittsburgh. And I said to her, I said to her, I was like, meow, meow. I said to her, I was like, where, where are his parents? And she was like, oh, taking cocaine at a Toby Keith concert. And I was like, who's Toby Keith? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Ah! There's, Jesus, Fuck. there's the fucking beat, beat. Go ahead, finish it. Who's Toby Keith? What, what, what? guys, guys, hold on. All right. Guy, if you want to finish the joke, who's Toby Keith? Well, what? She was going to say, oh, you have so much to learn about America. But it's not, gotcha. You know, it's Eric Lampert, all. ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, One guys. more time for Eric. Hi, Tony. How are you? you were, you, were you on the show once before? I yes. came here in July, yeah. 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 How's and it going? Great. How are you? Welcome back. That was Thanks, fucking man. awesome. Thank you. I just um, imagine you do this yeah. whole show going, oh, I do hope I get my chance tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You and Tony look like you showed up at the same audition to play a heroin addict. It's true. It's true. For a, I, mov- for a movie called Why the Long Face. <laughs> yeah. I, absolutely. I, I, absolutely I am agree. a methadone actor, so after all. What's that, what was that? I said I'm a methadone actor. Oh, I see what you did there. Oh, come on, you so fuckers. One of, the, one of those. <laughs> I'm you, a methadone you actor. Thank you. Hey, for the record, this Don't. guy's a pro. Oh. You could tell he, he's British because it's charming first and funny possibly. <laughs> <laughs> I like when he got upset. His voice went to some like way high octave oh, register. Yeah, it was awesome. I like your style. Eric, where did you meet this girl? I mean, like, how did you meet this girl from Pittsburgh? Um, in L.A. I had to do an advert, and then I was just here. An advert? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, a commercial. Sorry. Ah. Oh. Then, uh, oh, their phone's Hello? ringing oh, for an advert. That's Tony's mom. Yeah, I'll call you later. <laughs> wow. Wait. I don't know why. Wait. I don't, Eric... I, I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. Wait a second. Did he... I should, I should Wait a second. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Wait a second. I'm sorry, Tony. I shouldn't have done Wait, that. Did you that just was silly. Try... That was silly of me. I'm did you sorry. just try to um, sneak he... in a joke on my... <laughs> he tried. He oh, tried. Oh, I should have done that. <laughs> the lovely Mrs. Hinchcliffe. He oh. tried to do a it joke. It wasn't your mom. It was your dad. About the golden ponies. Um, all right. Shut up, Jeremiah. Shut up, you troublemaker. Okay. Tony's See, mom is so big that when she sits around the domicile, she really sits around the domicile. <laughs> She's like <House>. a gym. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> Eric, uh, Hi. so how did you meet uh, this girl from? You were in here for an advert, but what? How did you meet uh, her? Through playing chess, weirdly. Oh yeah. wow, that is so fucking British. <laughs> but she's like, she's fucking sweet, man. She's like an animal Did, trainer. I'm not saying that your girlfriend's a bad person. What do you say, man? Jesus, Eric, stop trying to be funny. Okay. Uh, just yeah, you really do have moments of like manic unfunniness that yeah, are terrifying to me. Yeah. They're I'm just so ready to. G- I'm so like, I've moved here like two months ago, so I'm always just scared that people have guns and stuff. But so I, I'm just constantly like freaking out. No, I think Tony made a good point though. Stop trying to be because you are funny. You are funny, but when you're trying to be funny, it stops being funny. It's, la- it's, it's because so I'll tell you why. It's because last time I came. Why are you heat? trying to fucking touch me? Just because I. You really wait, do wait, like. Oh, oh, there you go. Welcome. Fucking Voldemort fingers. Look at his fingers. Fingers. Oh it's my god! Ugh. The fuck? Pretty, they're pretty long. I mean, my mm. wife doesn't complain. It's pretty. Jesus, ET phone home. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> no, this, dude, this really is like fucking Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hack, where like you'll be really charming, and all of a sudden be like the shittiest '80s road try, comic try I've ever hard. seen in my life. Yeah. Thanks, man. Fucking that means a lot. Doesn't he look like he There's was nothing a- sincere about you? And it what fucking you, bothers me. Yeah, you seem like a real con artist. What do you want? Like, you bu- you bully everyone that comes on. and then What do you do for work? No, the first three guys were great and, and we loved them. Eric, shut up. How do you right. make a living, Eric? Um, Stand up. All right. No, you, standing <laughs> up on the street asking for money. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, mean, I didn't say Come how. Come on, Eric. Yeah. How do you make a living? No, that is it. Like, really? Back in Europe, they pay their acts. So, but the thing is, normally I only do more. I do more than a minute, so then you get a. No, I understand. Yeah, I actually yeah. did a show with him in Venice, and he killed it. He did I love really it. Good. Thanks. Okay, man. got and it. Again, it's really basing it off a minute. You can't really. Well, I'm TV. basing it off this interview. No, but that's really. the rule of the show. When people You've come been on the show for five and a half minutes. I now. think Brian's and taking money on the side from some of these acts. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's going on <laughs> here? He's so bizarre. These people. What's going on? Here? Yeah, the, Someone Mr. Band of Red, here's the solving. <laughs> please, please help me. And we did drugs together a couple weeks ago. Oh, Patty Reagan approved. What drug? Did we? No. Oh. Oh, uh. Eric. I mean, I, I Eric, how long have you been in America? Uh, two months in America. Two months. Yeah, so we, we, I came in July for the, um, like two weeks, and I had to go back to the Edinburgh Festival. And then you were on the show then. You were about to say something. What happened last time that you were on the show? Something crazy happened, I was just happened, here for right? like a week. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, what have you been doing that's fun in Los Angeles, being a wacky British guy and all? Uh, I'm getting my DMV license. Your was, DMV yeah, license? It's a, bit, it's a bit boring, but yeah, yeah. Got, my, got my license. I've he spends a lot of time hanging out in front of uh, stores being the wacky guy with his <laughs> arms. <laughs> I'm pretty long, yeah. <laughs> so, is the girl in Pittsburgh? She's out here. No, she lives here. And yeah. she's an actress? No, she's an animal behaviorist. She trains cats and dogs. Yeah, she Whoa. Does. Oh, yeah, I understand. it's pretty fucking good. That makes sense. So you met her playing chess. So what do you mean playing chess? Was it like a club or something like that? Well, th- through a friend and they had a chess board and we just played chess. Wow. Well, that's the thing. He said, stop trying so hard. And now I'm telling you just truth. You're yeah, like, try oh, a little God. harder. Well, I, I, no. what, what percentage Don't do try. you want from me? 50. Yeah. Not that. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey Tony, does yeah. he look like he he doesn't he look like he's one of the rats in Ratatouille? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Feel oh, the burn shit. On <laughs> he just took my fucking water. That wow. was crazy. Drink it, then drink it next time. Did you see the type of confidence he just had? This guy's yeah. creepy. Like man. a rat in Ratatouille. Yeah, while being called a rat, he took something that didn't belong. And to then him. he just brought it back. I mean, you could Thank just you, you oh, could just so take much. it now. Thanks, man. There you go, Eric. <laughs> Sorry. I'm surprised you don't have your own bottle of water with how much they pay you wacky British comedians <laughs> over there. He needs to quench his dry wit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't hate you like Mike Lawrence says. I think I think you're fine. I can tell you your confidence. You got chops. You know, Thanks, man. I just think. Uh, yeah, I think when you uh, you got when you try to do like charactery type stuff, when you, it goes a little bit over the top. But I think you're funny. I thought I thought you had a pretty good set overall. Yeah, you're cool. Like, how long you been doing it? About eight years. Eight years. Yeah. Huh. So you're used to doing the Edinburgh system of like an hour a year. Like I'm used to doing the hours. So like the one minute, the three minutes in LA is weird. He, he also has to do the whole thing where he has to edit his set because it's like a bunch of stuff that we don't uh, know. You know. Like a lot of words. Yeah. You know, like I talk. Oh, poppycock. Uh, yeah. Well, like, like, the thing is, like, <laughs> like last time I came. <laughs> last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Pat Reagan. Democracy. Pat, you can, you can Brexit on that one. Uh. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> yeah. All right, Eric. 
Anything else? Any parting words? Anything else you want to say? No, just have a good night, guys. There you go. Eric Thanks Lampert, so everybody. He's on Twitter at Eric Lampert, L-A-M-P-A-E-R-T. What do you think we do? It's Go back to the bucket, then yeah, do a This regular. reminds me of a poop story. I have a poop story. You guys oh, know Joel know? Jimenez, you have a poop story? Yeah, I was chaperoning these kids once. and uh, do you tell, wait, 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 do you tell all your stories with your eyes closed like that? That was uh, incredible. Go ahead. Maybe. Go ahead. Go keep telling the story. So I was chaperoning these kids. I was wearing... Look up, Joel, while you say it. I was chaperoning these kids <laughs> once. Uh, I was wearing shorts, unfortunately, the day of... And uh, I had a bit of Jack in the Box, some beers. I was hanging out, and I farted. It was in Echo Park. And, uh, and I realized that... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm name-dropping uh, neighborhoods. I, uh, and I shit my pants, and uh, I told the kids, I was, I, I was like, I shit my pants, you guys have to call your parents to come pick you up. <laughs> and one of the kids... Thank you, that's exactly what it sounded like. That's my boy Red Pan over there. Uh... And the kid said, no, you didn't. And I said, look. And then I turned around and I showed him my shit. And that, that's the end of the story. All right, moving on. Back to you, Joel. Wow, that was terrible. Holy so, shit. So that really, was incredibly bad. So really, Joel, if you think <laughs> about it, you're actually shat peroning. Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't you like the ending to that story? Like, So I turn around and I show the kid my dick. <laughs> like, <laughs> it has nothing to do with pooping wow. his pants. That would have been awesome. <laughs> More like Jack and the Boxers. All right. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Mikey McKernan. One more time for all the comedians you guys didn't laugh at tonight. Don't you guys hate it when comedians come up here and talk about things they hate? Boo. Ha. Ha. <laughs> my name is Mikey. No one takes me seriously because I'm in my 30s and I still go by Mikey. People are like, why Mikey? Because it's my key to your heart. Boo. Ha. Ha. <laughs> If you look like me, you got to be spiritual. <laughs> I think that's it. I tried. I tried to tap into my subconscious and found out I was self-conscious. Bo ha ha. That's exactly a minute from Mikey McKernan. Wow. I love you, Mikey. Thank you. You're awesome. You're cool as fuck. How long you been on stand up? Eight years. Yeah, I could I could tell. That's awesome stuff. Thank uh, you. First time here. Yeah, I, can, uh, exactly. I feel like terrified. We, Welcome to the I show. I feel like we all think we're the only person that can see you right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. You're well, awesome. you guys only matter. You uh, you from LA? Yeah. Uh, Rancho Cucamonga, California. That's born and raised. You still live there? No, no. I've been out in L.A. for 10 years now. I feel like all of your fingers smell like different liberal arts majors. (laughs) (laughs) Never been to college. (laughs) Yeah, we know. Uh, (laughs) I feel like you have to leave in five minutes to be a nude model somewhere. (laughs) (laughs) No, I'm on call, though. Yeah, I, I, I thought I thought his, uh, your presence was really good. You came out very strong. I like the fact that you brought the fucking dumb record. I was going to turn it off, but then I was like, no, let me not be a dick. You should have hit record. didn't even hit record you on it. You didn't hit record? <laughs> yeah. This is a live podcast on video and audio. Just yeah, you have the suit. I love that you have a catchphrase before you have a fan base. I think that's amazing. Yeah. Huge. It's the only thing I didn't like. I didn't like the, uh, the catchphrase. Me the either. I, yeah, I did. I, <laughs> it's true. It's true. He hates it. Take right? that, Lewis. I fucking hate it. Yeah. 
All my friends, they're like, you have to do that on stage. So yeah, no, I mean, look, I, mean, I, I prefer I your earlier work when you did parody songs with the accordion, but it. Uh, yeah. that's just no, me. the problem is you can't like that. I mean, you did it like four times in a minute, dude. If you if you're headlining a set and you're eight years, I mean, at this point you got to start thinking about doing longer sets. I'm assuming you're, you're featuring at the very least. You can't. I mean, that would. I mean, I would fucking throw a glass at the stage after already, two minutes of that. People yeah. already ruin it I'm every sure. st- every. Uh, Even every hamburger minute. knows one not to say <laughs> hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And also, what about... W- He's Soy Burger. <laughs> <laughs> soy also, you Burger. Kinda, you kind of look like the dude from that show on Comedy Central. Uh, workaholics, they portray from the town of Rancho Cucamonga. Oh, shit. Whoa. My father was very upset. Loosely based and on you, however you... He <laughs> also looks like if the dog from NeverEnding Story was a drug dealer. <laughs> wow. Holy I'm glad shit. these ideas are recorded. But that's the thing. Like, I almost feel like you got to change up the look a little bit because you're not going to get casted for anything with that. You just look like the alternative to that dude. So, Mike, true. Mikey, what is uh, what any career highlights so far? Eight years of doing stand up, coolest thing you've done. He's been, um, he's, he's been on. He's on a lot of TV appearances. Actually, oh, we know Mikey. We know oh, Mikey. Cool. We love Mikey. Oh, there you go. Ouch. Um, was stand up? <laughs> what? Ouch. What? I mean, but probably that, nothing really. What do you do for a living? How do you make your money? Wait tables. Where at? Bubba Dumps at Universal Shitty. <laughs> Are you uh, fucking serious? Really? I, I'm a Whoa. Landers Club member. Landers they have Club. yeah. <laughs> they have Lieutenant Dan waiting tables at the Bubba Gumps. That Universal was a ho- City. that was goes, a Halloween costume. He goes, year. "Welcome to Bubba Gump." Uh, <laughs> Catchphrase. They all, How long have you been working at Bubba Gums? I've been there for over nine years. Oh, fuck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now that deserves so a... That deserves a boo. Uh, uh. <laughs> that, dude. Oh, man. He's been there since here. Forrest Gump came out. Yeah. <laughs> you, were, you So you were working there before you started doing stand-up comedy? <laughs> yeah, like right before I wasn't... That's I was, crazy. Do they make you dress like Lieutenant Dan? No. <laughs> Only on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> you never just roll up in a wheelchair with your I did dress your up as for shits and giggles. I did it for Halloween. I dressed up as Lieutenant Dan, and they gave me shit because I had legs. Oh. <laughs> Cut your legs off if you really care. They, they give us some uh, Forrest Gump trivia. All you, right. Um, yeah. Oh God. Do you want? What kind of drugs do we see Jenny take? We see her take actually two drugs in the movie. You guys uh, into? It. It Co- was some kind of power. Cocaine and ecstasy. Cocaine is one of them. Thinks, and weed. W- and heroin. Think 60s. Heroin. Acid. Acid. Now, when she was feeling suicidal, what was she on? A ledge? <laughs> Wait. Had to. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Hold on just a second. This is this is what you 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 t- tell the Midwestern families. <laughs> Let me go get my manager. <laughs> you have any other ones? Uh, trivia or jokes? Fuck it. <laughs> trivia. Um, Sally Field plays two characters in the movie. Can you name them? Forest mom. That's one. Forest mom. Uh, so small of a character, you wouldn't realize it. Uh, Do you want me to tell you? If this is a joke, I'm going to punch it. It's not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, she plays uh, uh, interviewing when he's running across America, like the first interview to ask him a question. It's wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. I See, they fucking realize. love it. They fucking love the underground. They applauded like he just did like an ice skating Yeah, <laughs> It's the music. Mikey, how's your love life? I've been with a girl for almost four years. Wow. I met her at Bubba Gump's. Are you serious? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> was, was you she smell was, like barbecue shrimp. Her name's not Jenny. Was she walking there? A, everyone who tried to sit next to said, say it's taken. No, but I did train her. Her pussy tastes like garlic shrimp, shrimp scampi, barbecue shrimp. So, wait. you Dear tra- God, make me a bird so I can fly far, far away. <laughs> that's, that's Dear God, make me a bird so I can fly far, far away. Dear God. Make me a bird so I can fly far, far away. Dear God, make me a bird so I can fly far, 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 far away. Uh, I got AIDS, Forrest. I got AIDS. The mystical aura of Mike Lawrence and Louis J. Gomez. I don't know what it is. But I mean, we did have Bubba on have stage a, earlier tonight. Uh, so much fun. 
Are you trying to give us fucking merch, you a, fucking shut LA up, hack? I'll take his merch. Don't Does, do it. Thanks, dude. I have a sticker that says Mike and McKern is not funny for those anybody who didn't laugh. You can have. Hey, one. those stickers are everywhere. How long? How long a set do you have? Like, like, do you have a? Like, uh, what are you comfortable with? I can probably ten minutes right now. Ten minutes. If you're gonna Eight years for ten minutes? No, I can. I could do thirty, but right now, if we're talking about offering. just. We're talking about just uh, Forrest Gump riddles. Oh, how Forrest long, Gump. How long in? How long in just Forrest Gump riddles? That's it. I don't want to go farther than I've already done tonight. I would like to invite you to the uh, Death Squad studio next. Uh, I appreciate it. Next there you Friday. go. Thank you, Red Man. Thank you. Yeah, Mikey McKernan, ladies and gentlemen. He's on Twitter at Mikey McKernan. M C K E R N A N. Uh, we have a regular that goes up every single week. We'll get our regular up and uh, then go to the bucket one last time after that. Put your hands together for Ali Makovsky, everybody. What a surprise. This is an honor. What a treat. <laughs> I was with this guy the other night, and he told me I had the body of a 16th century painting. <laughs> I realized that I don't have to have sex with a guy to become clingy. I can just become clingy. <laughs> he can tell me I have the body of a 16th century painting, and I'll stick with it. Um, uh, so I, I, uh, I like giving, I, I don't like it, but I, I think mouths are convenient pussies. That's, <laughs> because, okay, so like, the first thing I say to a guy when we're ho hooking up, I'm like, just come in my mouth. Because it's just an easy cleanup. Okay, here's my infomercial for puss, or for mouths. Uh, it's convenient. It's a convenient pussy. <laughs> You can make it as tight as you want. <laughs> I think there should be, okay. Anything else? Was there anything more you wanted to add to it? Or are you good? You know, I don't think it would have gone There you better. go, Ali Mikofsky. <laughs> she writes and performs great. a brand new minute every single week. That's not in the bucket. You, but can't, the you can't write great jokes and coordinate apparel with the band, you know? It's one or the other. I mean, that is very impressive. Yeah. All I can say after that set is, Michelle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think, I think this is the first time I've ever seen anyone dressed as an oven mitt before on stage. <laughs> wow, like you really are wearing a fucking full house shirt. I didn't oven even mitts? notice that. Should I thought have, they were... should have like a little like uh, like a plastic like scraper at the yeah. bottom of your tail to like to do like window like wind shields for cars when it's snowing. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Yeah, homeless. And then the jacket. No, the glove. That it's like that material did glove. You, it's just, like it's what? piling on Tony's joke, but it's doing a much less elegant job. But I think it's a funnier. Well, at least you're not just idea. dragging it on by over explaining it, taking no, up time that, that could would, be fixed, I would rebuilding the that. momentum much of the too show. Much respect and then, of course, the human if you race. talked over the host while doing that after he was acknowledging <laughs> it at the exact same time to just plow whatever you needed to get in there. In there, exactly. I Guys, like a, a sheep died for this outfit. All right, let's. Did focus you pay on. for that? Like, what is that? Um, that might. I'm, I love you, her. Allie. You know I love you. That might be the fucking ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, truly, out she of all tore the things. The insulation out of her attic. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly what it looks like. Um, and some of it was like mildewy, and she made the collar out of the mildewy uh, insulation. You know, I've been getting a lot of compliments on this. Well, That's because when people want to be nice. Everybody wants to be this nice thing nowadays, it's and working. it's fucking up society. If I got it's a Dennis Rodman like nose bull ring, like right. I'd probably rake in compliments. Yeah, but like, looks, oh, Pat, so cool. Terrible. You wear it well. Yeah, because right? people are keep little people lie to your face. People are going to say that. I you mean, know, like, it's real comfy. Did yeah. you pay for it? Was it I, a yeah, gift? Yeah, I paid for it. It was at Urban what? Outfitters. I, I was like, it, wasn't yeah. at, it wasn't at the Revenant gift shop? No. I didn't pay... <laughs> It looks like you're inside of a bear right now. Also, that's why I, that's uh, funny. it's really like I didn't wear a bra to work today. And, yeah. and okay. Awesome. It's a way to and win everybody awesome. back over. And Wait, what? <laughs> cut it out. Awesome. Just so, in case you want to know there was only men up here. Uh, Jesus. 
So what did it keep, look keep, like Allie, with your going. boobs? Allie, keep, your, Allie like, please ah. keep going. If you don't keep <laughs> answering, then they're going to keep like, doing that. I, I love that you're dressed like a Maurice Sendak so character. <laughs> Maurice Sendak, if you don't know, wrote Alice in Wonderland. All right. Somebody just fact checked and said no. I, I know, I know. That's a test. That's a that was a test. <laughs> Obviously, do you understand? You know what's funny about ironic humor is like people don't get that you're being ironic. People don't get that you're being dumb on purpose. Oh. And I'm being dumb on purpose like all the time. And people are like you're stupid. I'm like no, you're stupid. <laughs> right. But then sometimes what's interesting though that should be acknowledged is that sometimes you're not dumb on purpose. Yeah. And you actually put together, like, really, like, you know, thought out stuff, and it's well executed. Not me. So sometimes you're dumb on purpose, and sometimes you're not dumb on purpose. So I think people get confused. That's why. Can we get back to the boobs and the shirt? Yeah. <laughs> Was there anything more to that, Ali? Was that it? You wore no bra? Was that the end of that I thing? didn't wear a bra. This is a great jacket to wear if you want to cover up your tits at work so your boss doesn't fire you. Where do you work again? I just work at a restaurant. You wore that at a restaurant? No, I, wa- I, wa- I brought this if in my, my bag. my waitress came up to me in right. that dirty <laughs> fucking piece yeah. of garbage. A lot of, a lot yeah. of people... I would be on Yelp immediately yeah. writing bad reviews. I'd be like, look, I know I'm eating at Bubba Gump right now, but can I please have a... Uh, can can I have that tra- Vietnam vet as my waiter instead of a... Uh, <laughs> instead of whatever the fuck... I mean, where did you really... Where, Siri, be honest. Where the fuck did you she, get she that? Said that? She said that. What yeah. is it? I got it from Urban Outfitters. You really... How much was that? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> but it's let's the worst thing say... ever. I don't care if it was... The you look like the popcorn that's on the floor of a movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you eat the popcorn that's on the floor of the movie oh! theater. Oh! <laughs> That's the noise that happens when somebody takes a shot at Great wow. Roasters, by the way. Oh, that's right. I stick it right in my convenient pussy. Uh. <laughs> All right. Allie Makovsky, you did it again. Another fun set. What did we learn tonight? It's that no matter how big of a rock star you are, sometimes the wrong jacket is the wrong jacket. I don't care if it was, if it was Mike Tyson, The Rock. I don't care who it was. If they were wearing that jacket, I'd have to lay into that shit. You, you went to Urban Out. I love how bothered she was by it. I've heard Allie reveal so many unbelievably personal things. You know, and I asked her how much she paid for that jacket. She's like, let's not go there. Yeah. I, I saw her with that jacket on the other day, and I actually came up, and I touched it. and was like, oh, this is a cool jacket. Of course. It was based on just how comfortable it was. Resident fashionista yeah. Brian Redband, who uh, <laughs> believes in sweatpants over life. We're going to Sketchfest, San Francisco. Kill Tony's going to be there. We're also going a bunch of other places. So Wednesday, we, we don't want to see that. Show. Yeah, stand up comedy. Joe Rogan, uh, Tom, Tom and Sturr. guess what else, people? Guess who else is in town for the next couple of days? Roast Battle champion Mike Lawrence, Luis J. Gomez. What else is going on, guys? Promote yourselves. Why don't you mention that uh, thingamajigger that you get to do coming up, Mike? Uh, yeah, I'm opening for Louis C.K. at Madison Square Garden. At Madison yeah. Square Garden, you motherfuckers. Where's Jay Gomez? Host the Legion of Skanks. So many other great things. What else? Excellent. When is this coming out? Uh, half of it right now. The other half in a couple weeks. Okay, all right. So uh, this I mean, weekend, like, Providence, Rhode Island, yeah. December 9th and tenth. Uh, Comedy Connection, January fourteenth. Legion of Skanks presents myself, Dave Smith, plus Joe List, who's one of the fucking best comics in the country. Uh, Detroit Hustler Club. So it's titties and comedy. Come out for that, right, boys? Come on. Uh, and uh, that's it, man. GomezComedy.com. Look at the drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt, ladies and gentlemen. RyanJEbelt.com yeah. for your comedy store. Kill Tony prints. The official Kill Tony poster available at RyanJEbelt.com. He did it again. That's a fucking amazing one. Uh, Pat Reagan's Patty Reagan. I want to announce that I'm opening for Mike Lawrence at Madison Square Garden. Oh. Jeremiah Watkins. At Jeremiah's stand-up. Reach out to me on social media. I had a filter. <laughs> Reach I'd, out to me, please. I, I'm so I, lonely. I had a filter on my Twitter that I like, didn't see a lot of the tweets, and then I, I turned it off, and then like I missed a lot of tweets. So, like, reach back out to me. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel sorry. I've been plugging it for, like, months, and then like I'm like, why are nobody hitting me up? And I had a weird filter on. So, you know, you just reach out. At Jeremiah's stand-up wow. on my social media. Remember before and, that plug when you used to respect Jeremiah, everybody? <laughs> 
uh, please reach out to me. I once I, I wasn't able to see what you were saying. Jesus. <laughs> At mostly go. sorry, Joel Jimenez. Man, Tony does get the last word, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. TonyHinchcliffe.com. I have a couple podcasts. I talk about pro wrestling with my buddies on the Store Horsemen. I'm debuting right now, just went up, my, my conversational podcast called The Pony Hour. So that just came out. I talked to Brendan Schaub on episode one about fear, life, and fighting. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. See ya. Bye-bye. Thanks, live audience. Good night.